In this video, we'll show you how to create an online course using LearnPress, a popular WordPress LMS plugin. Let's start. So we already have a website over here. We're going to head to our WordPress admin dashboard. And from here, we're going to go to plugins, click on add new plugin. And we are going to search for LearnPress. And here you can see there are various LearnPress plugins, but this is the plugin that we are looking for. This is the core LearnPress plugin. You can see it has over 90,000 active installations. It's compatible with our current version of WordPress. So we're going to click on install now button and wait for the plugin to install. Now, after it's installed, we can click on activate button to activate the plugin. Now, LearnPress has been installed and activated. And you guys might see a setup wizard right after you activate this plugin, but we're not seeing this right now because we had installed LearnPress previously. Now to create a course, we can click on add new course from here. And first we have to add a course title. So we're going to be creating a course on how to grow your LMS website. Of course, this is not a real course. This is just to show you how you can create your courses in LearnPress. Next, we can add a course description over here. Now, if you guys want, you can also add images. You can click on add new image and from the media library, you can select your image. Okay, so this image will be included over here and then you can align it and customize it. Next, you can add a category just by clicking over here and then select which category it is. You will also be able to add course tags from here and also the featured image. So let's go ahead and add a featured image to our course. Great. Now we're going to scroll down and here is the course settings. Now before we take a look at the settings, we want to take a look at the curriculum. This is where you can build your course. So the way you create courses in LearnPress is by adding sections and then by adding lessons and quizzes within that section. To give you a general idea of how this works, we have created a curriculum for this course. So let's go ahead and add those curriculum. First to add a section, we are going to click over here and then we're going to type the name of our section. So this is the name of our section. Now we're going to hit enter on keyboard. Now, as soon as we hit enter, it creates the section. You can add a description to this section and then we will be able to add either lessons or quizzes. To add a lesson, we have to select this book icon and to create a quiz, we can click on this clock icon. All right, so first let's add a lesson. So this is the name of our lesson. Then we're going to hit enter on keyboard and the lesson has been added. In the same way, we are going to add two more lessons. We have added three lessons. So that is how you can add sections and lessons within those sections. Using this same method, we are going to create another section. Now we're going to hit enter on keyboard. Great. Now we can add some section description and then we can add lessons. Using this same method, we are going to add two more lessons and add some description over here. Great, so we now have two sections. Now let's create one more section. All right, now we have three sections within our course. So that's how you can create a curriculum in LearnPress. Now, although we have sections and lessons, we have no contents within these lessons. So let's go ahead and see how you can add contents within your lesson. But before we do that, we're going to actually click on save draft so that we do not lose our progress. And then we can scroll down over here. And there's another section where you can allow your comments. So if you want students to comment, you can keep this enabled. Now to add contents within your lesson, you can simply hover your mouse over the lesson and you can click on edit. By the way, this is also a drag and drop course builder. So you can drag and drop your section contents anywhere you want. We want to actually edit this lesson. We can simply click on this icon and it's going to open up the lesson builder. So all the lessons you have created are available in the lessons section over here. You can access those and edit those from there as well. So here you can add in your text and media files. So let's go ahead and add some text. Okay, so we have some text over here. Now what about videos? Now most of the courses today have video lessons and videos are really important for lessons. So for that, what we can do is hit on enter, click on add media, and we can select this, insert from URL. We can either create an audio playlist or a video playlist from here. Now, if you have videos uploaded to your WordPress media library, you can select it from here. And those videos will be displayed on your lesson. So we're going to actually grab a video from our channel just to show you how this looks like. Okay, so this is a video from YouTube and we're going to click on insert into post. Now we have a video on our lesson so students can watch this video. Next, you can also mention the duration of this lesson. You can also choose to make this lesson a preview so students can view this lesson content without taking the course. 
You can also include course materials if you want. So we do not want to include any materials right now, but that is how you can actually add contents to your lesson. And you can also allow comments so students can comment on this lesson. So once it's done, we can click on update. All right, so our lesson has been updated. Now we can close this tab. Now in this way, you can add contents within your lessons. Now, another thing that I want to show you is the material including. So if we want to add materials, so let's say I want to add materials to this second lesson, I'm going to click on edit item. Then we can also add course materials. To add materials, we can click over here and we can add a file title. So this is our note. In the method, we can either choose upload or external. We want upload. Now we're going to choose file and select a PDF file. All right, we have selected a PDF file. Now we can click on save field. So that is how you can include materials to your course lessons. Now let's click on update. It's updated. Now let's close this tab. That is how you can create the curriculum of your course in LearnPress. All right. Now let's take a look at the course settings. In the general settings, we can set the duration of the course. Now in the duration section, you can choose for how long students will have access to this course. If you set zero, students will have lifetime access to this course. If this is something you want, you can do it. So let's set zero. So when our students purchase this course, they will have access for lifetime. Then you can also block content. So when the duration expires, the course content is blocked or block the course after the student finishes this course. So after the students finish this course, this course will be blocked. I want to remove this, but you can keep it enabled if this is something you want. You can also allow students to repurchase this course. And from here, you can choose the course difficulty and there are more options to take a look at, okay? You can also make this course available offline. So if you enable this, some of the online features will be disabled, such as curriculum, finish button, retake course, block content, repurchase, etc. Now for the pricing, here you can choose a regular price for your course. And if you want, you can choose a sale price for your course. You can schedule this sale price. So if this is for a limited time, you can schedule it by clicking over here. I'm not going to do that. You can also add a price prefix. For example, I want to add only, only $70. And if you want, you can also add a price suffix as well, such as included tax per hour, per week, etc. And if there is no enrollment required, you can enable this. Students in that case do not need to purchase this course. They can take this course directly. And in the extra information section, you can add requirements, target audience, key features and FAQs. So let's go ahead and add these. So from here, we can click on add more and we can add a requirement. So basic knowledge of course creation. And if we want to add another requirement, we can click on add more and add it from here. Great, so that is how you can add requirements. And of course you can also drag and drop these as well. Now let's also add target audience. All right, so we added requirements, target audience, key features and FAQs. Now after this, we can go to assessment and from here you can select the evaluation. You can evaluate via lessons, evaluate via results or final quiz, evaluate via past quizzes. So you can choose how you want to evaluate your students. Okay. And you can also choose a passing grade. From here, you can look at the author information. You can also add more authors from here. And here you can include downloadable materials. Now with all of that, we can again save as draft and then we can also add some quizzes. So I'm going to fold this up and let's add a quiz. To add a quiz, we can simply click over here and add a quiz name. So we are going to call it quiz one and hit enter on keyboard. And then to add contents within this quiz, we can click on edit an item. This gives us a quiz builder. Here you can add a quiz title, quiz description, and here is where you can add your questions and you can access your quiz settings. So first let's add some quiz description. Okay, so we added some quiz description and in the question section, we can create a question. Also, we can select items. But the way this works is first you write something up and now this button will become available, add with type. So if we hover over here, we can see there are four types of quiz categories, true or false, multi-choice, single choice, and fill in the blanks. So let's go ahead and create a single choice question as this is very simple. So now let's actually write our question. So this is a basic question that we have asked. And since it's a single choice question, we can add multiple options. So here's the section where we can add options, the first option, second option, and third option. If we want, we can also add a fourth option. Now this is completely up to us, but we're going to remove this. And now let's add three options. All right, we added these. Now we can also drag and drop these options anywhere we want. And we also have to choose which is the correct option, all right? We can also add quiz description, add points, add hints, and quiz explanation if we want. And you can keep on adding as many questions as you want. Now, after that, we can also access the quiz settings, the duration. We can choose the duration of this quiz. We can choose the passing grade, instant check, negative marking, minus for skip, and many more options. 
Now we're going to go up and click on update. And that is how you can create your quizzes in LearnPress. So let's close this tab. All right, so we created a course with multiple lessons and we also have a quiz. So that is how you can create a standard course in LearnPress. So now that everything is looking great, we can hit on publish and this course will be published. All right, now our course has been published. We can already view the course page. I actually want to add the course page to our main menu. For this, we are going to hover mouse over appearance and click on menus. Now, as soon as you install LearnPress, it also adds these pages, become a teacher, instructor, all courses, profile, checkout. So these pages are added by LearnPress. Now, what we want to do is add this all courses to our main menu. Now we have this all courses. Now let's click on save menu. All right, our menu has been saved. Now let's visit our site and let's click on all courses. And here is our course. Now, if we click on read more, this is our course. We can see it's available for $70. And we can see all the details over here. We can look at the overview. We can take a look at the curriculum. We can also take a look at the comment and you also have seen there is an option to disable the comments. If you want, you can disable it. We can take a look at the curriculum. We can take a look at the instructors. And from here, we can take a look at the requirements, features, target audience. Everything is over here. In the material section, we can see the material over here. And we can also see there is an FAQ. Great. Now, if students click on the buy now button, they will be able to purchase this course, but we haven't added any payment method. So by default, PayPal is available. If you set up your PayPal with your LearnPress website, students will be able to purchase this course. Now for a free LMS plugin, that's a lot. Okay. So that's how you can create a course. Now, what about other features? For example, after students complete this course, they should get a certificate. Now to add a certificate, what you do is you need an add-on. So if we go to add-ons, here we can see there are so many add-ons for LearnPress. So these add-ons include more features such as to checkout integration, features like announcement, assignments, authorize.net integration, BBPress integration, and so many more features. Now there are some free add-ons that you can use such as the LearnPress BBPress integration, LearnPress BodyPress integration, coming soon add-on, course review, and much more. But there are some paid add-ons such as the to checkout integration, announcement add-on, collections add-on, commissions, and content drip add-on, front end editor and much more. Okay, for our purpose, we need the learn press certificates. Now this is a paid add on to actually use this. We either need to purchase this add on separately or one thing that we can do is get the learn press premium bundle or pro bundle. So let's take a look at this for a second. Now learn press gives you the course creation, quiz creation features in the free version, which you've just seen. But to get access to some more premium features, you have to get it through learn press add ons. Now you have the choice to purchase these add ons separately or what you can do is get LearnPress Pro Bundle. Now with the Pro Bundle, you get 28 add-ons. You get one site license plus 12 months support update. Now this is normally available for $710, but with this discount coupon code, which is a 25% off, you can get this bundle for $299. Now why would you get this Pro Bundle? It includes 28 add-ons. So if we take a look at over here, you can see you get all these add-ons, WooCommerce add-on, front-end editor, certificates add-on, gradebook add-on, paid memberships pro, so much add-ons you get for only $299. Now, if you purchase these separately, it will cost you a lot more. So that's why the smart thing to do, in our opinion, is to get the LearnPress Pro Bundle. Okay, so we already have the LearnPress Pro Bundle. We're going to install the LearnPress certificate add-on through that. Okay, so we're going to go to plugins so we're going to click on add new and then we're going to click on upload plugin choose file we have uploaded the certificate add-on now we're going to click on install now and we're going to click on activate plugin all right our certificate add-on has been installed and activated so to use it we can click on settings we can go to certificates and here we can access some certificate settings we can choose the font that we want to use we can choose the download certificate types either images or pdf we can show certificate pop-up and we have other options we can also enable the sharing on twitter and facebook and we can also see the certificate per page okay now to actually access the certificate builder we can click on over here and we have no certificate we can click on add new certificate now this will open up the certificate builder first we're going to add the title of the certificate okay so this is the name of our certificate we're going to click on publish and now we can access the certificate builder 
and we have to actually upload a certificate background for this we're going to click on choose background image and we're going to upload a certificate background image from our computer all right so this is our image i'm going to insert it now we are going to use this image for our certificate so after you add the certificate background what you can do is simply drag and drop the course name over here and you can also customize the size all right so uh, choose the size which is more suitable. Then you can also drag and drop these elements around this certificate. Then you can also drag and drop this student name. You can also add in custom fields. So if you add custom fields like this, you'll have the ability to write custom text and you can insert your custom text over here, but we're not going to do it right now. So we're going to simply remove it. We're going to click on delete layer and then we can add other details such as course start date, and course end date we can also add a qr code for this certificate okay so after you're done with this you can simply click on update and your certificate will be created now to set this certificate on your course what you have to do is go to your courses click on edit and if we scroll down in the certificate section we can see the certificate is over here we can click on assign and the certificate will be assigned we can also add a new certificate so if we click over here it will take us directly to the certificate building section so if we also go to the courses section we can see the certificate has been set in here so that's how you can create your entire course in LearnPress. And of course, if you need, you can get specific add-ons for specific features. But we think the smarter thing would be to get LearnPress Pro Bundle because that gives you access to all the advanced features of LearnPress. Okay, so that brings this tutorial to an end. We hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. Thank you for watching. See you next time.